A dedicated interceptor is built to take off and reach combat altitude as fast as possible. That implies having a fast takeoff and climb speed as well as armaments capable of destroying the designated target, originally bombers but more recently different types of missiles such as cruise missiles. Speed is a very important factor for this role. Today, we'll present the 10 fastest dedicated interceptor aircraft of all time. The 10 fastest dedicated interceptor aircraft of all time is the Sukhoi Su-15 or the Flagon. It entered service in 1965 and remained one of the frontline designs until the 1990s. The Su-15 was optimized for the high-altitude interception role with its fast climb rate and high speed at high altitude. Its rate of climb is 228 meters per second or 750 feet per second. The Flagon was powered with a pair of Tomansky R13 F300 afterburning turbojet engines, which ensures a maximum speed of 2,230 km per hour. Up next at number 9 is the Shenyang J8, also known as the Finback. This aircraft is a high-speed, high-altitude Chinese-built interceptor fighter aircraft manufactured by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation. The effort to develop an all-weather interceptor is to combat new, high-altitude threats such as the B-58 Hustler Bomber, F-105 Thunder Chief Fighter Bomber and Lockheed U-2. Powered with a pair of Guizhou WP-13B afterburning turbojet engines, it can go up to a top speed of 2,300 km per hour or 1,400 miles per hour. Number 8 on the list for the top 10 fastest dedicated interceptor aircraft in the world is the General Dynamics Grumman F-111B. This is a long-range carrier-based interceptor aircraft developed in the 1960s. The F-111B was an all-weather interceptor aircraft intended to defend U.S. Navy carrier battle groups against bombers and anti-ship missiles. It was powered with a pair of Pratt & Whitney TF-30 P-3 turbofans, which produces a top speed of 2,330 km per hour or 1,450 miles per hour. At number 7 is the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. This is a tandem two-seat, twin-engine, all-weather, long-range supersonic jet interceptor and fighter-bomber originally developed for the United States Navy by McDonnell Aircraft. The Phantom's greatest advantage in air combat was acceleration and thrust, which permitted a skilled pilot to engage and disengage from the fight at will. It was powered with a pair of General Electric J79 GE-17A afterburning turbojet engines, which produces a maximum speed of 2,370 km per hour or 1,470 miles per hour at 40,000 feet altitude. Up next at number 6, we have the Panavia Tornado air defense variant, which was a long-range twin-engine interceptor version of the swing-wing Panavia Tornado. This fighter was originally designed to intercept Soviet bombers as they were traversing across the North Sea with the aim of preventing a successful air-launched nuclear attack against the United Kingdom. It is powered with a pair of Turbo Union RB199-34R afterburning three-spool turbofan. Its maximum speed is 2,400 km per hour at high altitude and 1,482 km per hour near sea level. The fifth fastest interceptor aircraft ever built is the English Electric Lightning. This is a British fighter aircraft that served as an interceptor during the 1960s, the 1970s and into the late 1980s. It remained the only UK-designed and built fighter capable of Mach 2 or 2,414 km per hour. The Lightning has an exceptional rate of climb, ceiling and speed. Pilots have described flying it as being saddled to a skyrocket. This performance and the initially limited fuel supply meant that its missions are dictated to a high degree by its limited range. At number 4, we have the Saab 35 Draken, which was a Swedish fighter interceptor developed and manufactured by Saab between 1955 and 1974. The Draken functioned as an effective supersonic fighter aircraft of the Cold War period. 
Even though the type was designed and intended as an interceptor, it was considered to be a very capable dogfighter for the era. Powered with a single Svenska flight motor RM60 afterburning turbojet engines, it can go up to a maximum speed of 2,450 km per hour or 1,520 miles per hour. Up next at number 3 is the Convair F106 Delta Dart. This was the primary all-weather interceptor aircraft of the United States Air Force from the 1960s through the 1980s. Designed as the so-called ultimate interceptor, it proved to be the last specialist interceptor in the U.S. Air Force service to date. The F-106 was envisaged as a specialized all-weather missile-armed interceptor to shoot down bombers. It was powered with a pair of Pratt & Whitney J-75 P-17 afterburning turbojet engines and it can go up to a maximum speed of 2,454 km per hour at 40,000 feet. Up next at number 2 is the Mikoyan MiG-31 or the Foxhound. This is a supersonic interceptor aircraft that was developed for use by the Soviet Air Forces. The MiG-31 was designed to intercept cruise missiles, detect and destroy UAVs and helicopters, to escort long-range strategic bombers and to provide strategic air defense in areas not covered by ground-based air defense systems. It is powered with a pair of Soloviv D-30 F-6 afterburning turbofan engines. This interceptor can go up to a maximum speed of 3,000 km per hour at 70,538 feet or 1,500 km per hour at low altitude. At number 1, we have the Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-25, also known as the Foxbat. This is a supersonic interceptor and reconnaissance aircraft that was among the fastest military aircraft to enter service. It is one of the highest flying military aircraft, one of the fastest serially produced interceptor aircraft and the second fastest serially produced aircraft after the SR-71 reconnaissance aircraft. It was powered with a pair of Tumansky R-15B-300 afterburning turbojet engines. It has an operational top speed of Mach 2.83, but it can go up to a maximum speed of 3,494 km per hour or Mach 3 plus at high altitude or 1,100 km per hour at low altitude. Its speed was limited to prevent engines from overspeeding at higher air speeds and possibly damaging them beyond repair. And that, guys, was the list of the 10 fastest dedicated interceptor aircraft of all time. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos from the buzz.